IKE V2 Phase 1, IKE SA and Phase 2, Child SA Message Exchanges. Previous lesson, we had learned about IKE V1 and IKE V1 Message Exchanges in Phase 1, Main Mode or Aggressive Mode and Phase 2, Quick Mode. In IKE V1, there are 9 message exchanges. If IKE V1 Phase 1 is in main mode, 6 messages for main mode and 3 messages for quick mode or 6 message exchanges if IKE V1 Phase 1 is in aggressive mode, 3 messages for aggressive mode and 3 messages for quick mode. Internet Key Exchange version 2 is the next version of IKE V1. IKE V2 was initially defined by RFC 4306 and then obsoleted by RFC 5996. IKE V2 current RFCs are RFC 7296 and RFC 7427. IKE V2 has most of the features of IKE V1. Like IKE V1, IKE V2 also has two phase negotiation process. First phase is known as IKE SA init and the second phase is called as IKE auth. At the end of second exchange, that is phase 2, the first child SA created. Child SA is the IKE V2 term for IKE V1 IPsec SA. At a later instance, it is possible to create additional child SAs to using a new tunnel. This exchange is called as Create Child SA Exchange. New Defi Hellman values and new combinations of encryption and hashing algorithms can be negotiated during Create Child SA Exchange. IKE V2 runs over UDP ports 500 and 4500. IPsec NAT traversal devices configured to use IKE V2 accept packets from UDP ports 500 and 4500. IKE V2 IPsec peers can be validated using pre shared keys, certificates, or extensible authentication protocol. EAP allows other legacy authentication methods between IPsec peers. IKE V2 Phase 1 Message 1 In IKE V2, the first message from initiator to responder contains the security association proposals, encryption and integrity algorithms, defi Hellman keys and nonces. IKE V2 Phase 1 Message 2 In IKE V2, Second message from responder to initiator contains the security association proposals, encryption and integrity algorithms, defi Hellman keys and nonces. Note that the messages 1 and 2 are not protected. Now, the IPsec peers generate the S key seed, which is used to derive the keys used in IKE SA. All future IKE keys are generated using S key seed. After the messages 1 and 2, next messages are protected by encrypting and authenticating it. IKE V2 Phase 1 Messages 3 and 4 The third and fourth messages are encrypted and authenticated over the IKE SA created by the previous messages 1 and 2. These two messages are for authentication. Initiators and responders identity Certificates exchange are completed at this stage. The third and fourth messages are used to authenticate the previous messages, validate the identity of IPsec peers and to establish the first child SA. At the end of messages 3 and 4 indicates the IPsec peers are verified and first child SA is established.